saw you recently in Harlem, and now you're starring in A Journal for Jordan. How was it portraying um, the mom in this film? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, I mean, it, it's at a point when I, in my career when I'm everybody's mom, and I'm just loving it. You know, I was the mom in Harlem, and now I'm the mom in this. And, you know, it, it, doing this project was just, you know, it was just joyful. It was joyful. I mean, even though it's a it's a tearjerker, you know, no spoiler alert, but it is, you know, we know in the beginning, you know, um, but it, it, but throughout, it's just such a celebration of life and love, you know. I'm getting a little emotional talking about it. Crazy, but um, but yeah, yeah, that's why I, I think it's so important. So you portray a mom, you're everyone's mom now, and you get the chance to work with what we consider the new leaders of the Black Renaissance, mm. being Michael B. Jordan, yes. Tyler Lepi, Megan Good. How is it working with them? It's wonderful working with them, and I certainly don't want to leave out Shantae Adams, who is in this picture tonight. And uh, Shantae is also my fellow Carnegie Mellon alum as well, so we share that together. So getting on set together with her and her telling me that when I came to Carnegie Mellon to speak when she was an undergrad and how that inspired her, I, I, I burst into tears when we met, you know. So it's just really special. It's extremely special. It's so exciting to see all of these young black actors, you you know, doing their thing, leading, and it's it's just really fantastic. Um, have you previously worked with Denzel Washington before? I have worked with Denzel before. We did a little movie called Flight that was quite good, and um, actually I worked with him on the Broadway stage in Julius Caesar. So uh, it's not, it's the first time I'm working with Denzel as a director, however, and that's a that's a completely different experience and a wonderful one. I can't wait to see you guys' work, but you know, it will be remiss of me not to ask. We know and love you from Law & Order SVU. Can you dish on why you parted ways with the series? Oh yeah, and it's not even dishy, you know? I mean, I came on the show to, to do one episode in the very beginning, and that turned into a recurring, and then it turned into a series regular, and then it turned back into recurring, and then it turned into every now and again. And that's all very great, because the entire time I was on Law & Order, I was doing every other thing I could do on the planet, whether it was stage, whether it was film, whether it was another TV show. So it all worked out beautifully, and you know, I'm still Emmy Warner whenever they need me, so it's, it's all been good. And before we go, where can fans expect to see you? Like, what films are you working on or TV shows or new projects? Oh, great. Yeah, right. Well, actually, right now, you can see me on Netflix on uh, Cowboy Bebop, the new series that dropped. Um, and as you mentioned, Harlem. Um, and what else? Uh, you know, uh, oh. Something that's not out. Something that's not C, out. C. You can see C. And... Um, I, I, I think it's okay to say this because it's already been in the press, but I mean, I just wrapped on I Want to Dance with Somebody, the Whitney Houston feature film that'll be out next year sometime. So. What role? Uh, playing Sissy Houston, Whitney's mom, yeah. Uh, you're the mom! <laughs> the mom! I'm the mom! I cannot wait to see it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful.